hey guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to fix you don't have sufficient right to perform this operation error on your windows 11 pc or laptop so you just need to follow me so at first you just need to go to that uh, file or drive uh, with the error you, you're getting so i'm getting error for this drive so you just need to right click on that file or drive uh, the error you are getting and after that go to properties okay after right click go to properties then click on security after click on security you will get an advanced option over here as you can see so click on that advanced option now click on owner you just need to click on change now here you just need to put your username if you don't know your username then don't worry you just need to go to your start or search, search window and type cmd open command prompt and after that you just need to type on your command prompt is net space user after that press enter from your keyboard now you will get all your username so I'm getting error for this test user. So I will close this window. Now I will type this name, my username, which is test and click on check names. Once it will land, click on okay. Now again, you just need to click on add. Now click on select principal. Now here you just need to put your uh, username, which is test. In my case, I will click on check names, then click on okay. Now here I'm getting all the permissions, basic permissions. So I will give the full control to this uh, user, okay. And after that click on ok once it will done it will show you over here now click on apply then click on ok okay so now what you have to do you just need to uh, click on this edit option uh, click on test your username and check all the permission is checked allowed or not okay in my case it is all allowed okay so after that click on ok now click on ok now check if your problem is solved or not so if your problem is not solved yet you just need to give the administrative right to your user. So first of all, you just need to activate your account. For that, you just need to go to your start window or search window and type CMD. Now right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Once you have opened command prompt, you just need to type on command, which I'll give you on my video description. The command is called net user space your username. In my case, it is test, then space, then slash, then active, then yes, and press enter. So as you can see the command completed successfully also you will uh, also add this user to your administrative groups if you have if you are using uh, windows pro version then i will suggest you to go to l user uh, window for that you just need to go to your start menu and type l u s r m g r dot m s c so i will give you this command to my video description click on l user m s c and now click on groups from your left side on your right side you will get administrators so double click on it now click on add now type your username over here and click on check names then click on ok then apply then ok once it will done it will fix your problem so after that you just need to restart your pc and it will fix your problem so i hope this quick tutorial will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care